Hey, Adriana, we really need to talk. How many times do I need to drive it into your head that you can't just keep asking others for financial support? When will you start living through your money alone, huh? When will you grow up and be independent? Come on, mom. Could you try to ask more politely? Your tone seems a bit harsh. Considering your position, it would be nice if you could be more humble about it. Excuse me? It's you who should be humble. And don't tell me how to speak to my own daughter. Who do you think you are? It's like you've completely forgotten the debt you owe us. Hold on, what debt are you referring to? Where is this coming from? For raising an ungrateful child like you. You should be thanking us, not questioning my request. It's not like I don't appreciate everything you've done. I haven't forgotten that you raised me, but I've been sending you money for over 10 years now. You know I've transferred a total of $144,000 over the years, right? That's much more than what you spent on raising me. So if there's any debt, it's you who owes me. It's not just about the money. I fed you, clothed you, ensured you'd received a good education for 18 whole years. Do you have any idea what kind of toll that takes? Anyway, you wouldn't understand the challenges of raising a child, but let me educate you. The cost of bringing up a single child is a minimum of $180,000, so financially, I'm still in the clear. Moreover, the money that you always send to me to help out isn't even your money to begin with, is it? I see through all of your lies by now, though. Mom, I have no idea what you're talking about. Why would I try and deceive you? And what do you mean I haven't been sending you my money? We agreed that to give back to me for all of the things I've done throughout your upbringing, you'd send me $1,200 a month, right? He was the one who was sending me the money every month, not you. Oh, wait, wait. What are you on about? I have been sending you the money just as you asked, even though I thought $1,200 was a bit much. I don't want to hear any of that attitude, young lady. Look. Just explain to me why my son revealed everything that happened from 10 years ago and confessed the truth about how vile you really are. Apparently, he had been working day and night from home as his job was something that could be done remotely. And get this, he was earning a ton more than you were. <sighs> it's the first time I'm hearing about that. But of course, he felt pressured to think about his older sister and take care of her problems for her. And what do you know? You were getting $1,200 sent into your bank account from him, which would then get transferred over to me. In other words, you weren't paying for my support at all. It was your brother doing it all along from the start. How awful do you have to be to make your younger brother take care of your financial problems, huh? And on the other hand, I've been blessed with such a wonderful son who thought so highly of you that he felt obligated to take care of everything that you needed done. Gabriel really is a wonderful boy. He's always been my favorite. And you're telling me that you were convinced by everything he said? Well, tell me this, Adriana. Why would my son ever lie to me? I could see you doing something devious like that, but not my son. Mom, I'm used to the favoritism at this point, so it's whatever. But think about this for a second. If you're talking about Gabriel from 10 years ago, he would have been in middle school. How would a middle schooler have an online job where he was making enough to the point where he could pay you $1,200 a month? You know that he wasn't doing any sort of part-time job in his teens anyway. How is any of this possible? Ugh, what are you, a detective or something? Every time I tell you something, it's always, show me the evidence, or you're not making any sense. There's a reason no one likes you, young lady. It's because you keep trying to dig deeper about every little thing people bring up. I'm just telling you why you're obviously wrong, but sure, believe whatever you want, I guess. I suppose you're free to have a favorite child or whatever, but I guess you really don't appreciate all I do for you, huh? I mean, you just listen to everything that Gabriel says without a fraction of doubt. And look what's happening now. Everything I say isn't even worth looking into. Is that your thought process? I wasn't paying you all that money to support you because I wanted to become the favorite child or to get your respect, you know? I just thought that I should help you out since you did raise me back then. And we were mother and daughter after all. Listen to me. I don't know where you're going off about helping me out or whatever when you clearly haven't done anything on your end. I know that Gabriel had been taking the hit for you all of this time, and it's unacceptable. You're the older sibling, and yet you let your younger brother take on your financial problems. Why would I ever gain any respect for you of all people? Well, all right then. If that's how you want to talk to me after all I've done for you, how about we do this? Your next month's payment will be given to you directly from Gabriel. I will not be doing anything on my end to get you that money. Are you okay with that? 
because I'm more than willing to have an extra $1,200 to spend on myself throughout the month if that's what you want to do. What difference would it make anyways? Your brother was sending me the money from the start. He probably doesn't even have enough of a disposable income to give me $1,200, even if you tried. All right, cool. I'm leaving everything to Gabriel then. I don't want to hear you regret this decision later on, you understand? Ugh, watch your mouth. I can't believe that you're talking to your own mother like this. Fine, stick to your story. I already know the truth. Okay, everything is up to Gabriel then. I'll deal with you later, you understand? Just get out of my sight. You're an absolute embarrassment to the family. All right, well, you let me know how living without your monthly payment goes, okay? All right, listen up, you worthless sister. Your very important little brother has an order for you, so listen carefully and don't interrupt me. You know the money you're sending mom? The $1,200? I mean, I want you to add an extra $500 and send it over to my bank account every month from now on. I told mom that I was the one who was paying for the payments all this time and that you were lying to her. She was so angry and hurt by your deception. She wants me to directly give her the money from now on. And I'm sure as the favorite child, she preferred if I was the one that directly gave her the money. She trusts me more than you after all. I'm sorry, but she doesn't trust you anymore. You've lost her respect and love. And because now I have to deal with all of this hassle and drama, you'll be paying me $500 fee for all the trouble I have to go through. Got it? Oh, and by the way, I won't complain at all if you give me even more than $500. <laughs> I mean, it is a big job being responsible for all the family finances after all. It's not easy being a good son and taking care of everything. If you think I deserve more than that, Feel free to send me however much you want. I won't say no to extra cash. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to go now, so I'll leave everything up to you now. There better be money in my bank account by next month. You hear me? No excuses or else you'll regret it. Alright, we need to talk right now. I knew you were useless. But what exactly is the meaning of all this, huh? I mean, I told you very clearly that you needed to send me the money to my account every month. Did you not get the memo or are you just stupid? Hello? Today's payment day. The deadline is today. I checked my account and there was nothing there. Not a single cent. What's up with that, huh? Hurry up and send me the money I deserve. $1,700 like we agreed on. No less. Chop chop. Time is ticking. You don't want to make me angry, do you? Hey, mom is grilling me about the money. Hurry up already. What's taking so long? I was considerate enough to give you the full day to prepare the money. And this is how you repay me? You really are useless at absolutely everything you do, aren't you? God, this is why I hate women who are bad at dealing with money. There's a reason why you're not mom's favorite child, you know. I'm giving you one more chance. If I don't see the damn money by tomorrow morning, I'll be taking action. Adriana, you better send me this month's payment right now. You're already a day late and I'm furious about it. Mom, what are you talking about? You clearly told me that Gabriel would handle everything and that I don't have to deal with this mess anymore. Why are you suddenly coming to me with this demand? Did Gabriel fail to send you his money? Don't you dare change the subject. You need to start showing some respect to your mother for once in your life. Hurry up and send over that money. Gabriel can pay up all he needs to, but that won't let you off the hook. How does that make any sense at all? I had a long talk with Gabriel about the whole situation. I know everything that's been going on, and this is the solution I've decided on. You should be grateful to your brother for what he did, do you understand? After I found out about the whole scheme of Gabriel sending the money to me instead of you, most people in his position would want to confront you for being so irresponsible, but he still insisted on paying for his untrustworthy sister. And yet you don't appreciate how kind and generous Gabriel is for doing all of that. He didn't come to you and accuse you of taking advantage of him. Instead, he was willing to keep supporting his mom because you were such a selfish and spoiled daughter all along. This is for your own good, Adriana. You will be paying me my monthly payment from now on so you can finally learn the value of respecting your parents. So ridiculous. Do you know that you're being really ridiculous? <laughs>
Ugh, I'm sorry, but I have no clue what you're rambling about. I can't believe Gabriel has lied to you like that, and you just blindly believed every word. I told you, this is for your sake. You'll thank me later on for learning about how to respect your elders going forward. This is the end of this discussion. You will be paying me the usual fee that your brother had been paying me from now on. Now hurry up and send the money for this month. This whole mix-up has made it delayed by a day. Oh. And that reminds me, make sure to add an extra $500 over to Gabriel's account, too, while you're at it. Wait, what? Why do I need to do that? I don't want to hear any complaints from you about this. You need some serious discipline for your attitude towards your family. And Gabriel deserves to get all of that money back that you stole from him over the years. Now do as I say, got it? Yeah, well, I'm not going to be sending you a single cent. I've already decided that. What on earth did you just say? I told you that I would leave Gabriel to deal with all of the family finances. You heard me last time. I made it clear from the start. And so you can drop this whole lecture about disciplining me or whatever, because it has nothing to do with me anymore. He'll be taking care of all your problems, not me. I have already given you way more than enough. Adriana, what are you talking about? You were paying me? That's the biggest lie I've heard all week. I understand after all of these years that I wasn't thinking straight about this entire situation. I mean, I can't believe that only three months after I started living on my own and earning my own money, that my dad would just pass away like that. There was too much that happened in such a short amount of time. And it doesn't help that you told me to suddenly start paying you money in order to give back for all that you had done. I'm not sure how I never even realized during the entire 10 years I'd been doing this. I think I finally see clearly who the one in the wrong is here. Adriana, stop spouting nonsense. For starters, it's only natural that you pay me for everything I've done for you after all those years. And you know how hard it was to survive without your father's support. Not to mention you manipulated your own brother to take the blame this whole time. I can't believe you. So now it's finally your time to face the consequences and pay up. This is just a result of your own selfish actions. Now stop arguing with me and send over that money that you owe my son and me. If it's not all done by the end of tomorrow, then I'll directly call up your company and ask them to change the bank details over to mine so that all of your salary gets directly sent to me. Go ahead and do whatever you want. I don't give a damn anymore. How insolent. How the hell did you react like that? Don't tempt me. Adriana, why do you keep causing more and more trouble for your own mother, huh? Is it true that you quit that job that you were working at? What are you talking about, Mom? I warned you that I'd directly contact your employer in order to change the bank details to mine. If you didn't send over that money I asked you to, remember? And yesterday, I didn't see a single penny appear in either Gabriel's or my bank account. So I gave your office a call to get my money sorted out. And guess what? They told me that you had left the company. Don't tell me you quit your entire job just because you didn't want to support your own mother. How heartless can you be? You want to sever ties with your entire family, is that it? Which means that you're completely jobless now, aren't you? Don't you dare come back to my house, you hear me? There is no way I am letting you take a single step in my property after all this. And I'm keeping an eye on what you send to Gabriel from now on. If I ever hear that you asked him for money, you'll be hearing from me. Wait, don't tell me you called TML Group to find out about my work. Where else would I call? I know that you've been working there ever since you graduated high school. Well, I quit that job like half a year ago. Too bad you never checked in to see what your daughter was doing for work, huh? Wait, half a year ago? So you work somewhere else now? A few years ago, I started up my own small business from home while working at TML Group, you see. And after juggling between the two jobs all of these years, I started to feel like doing both was getting too stressful. So I ended up quitting TML Group and focusing on the one online job that I work for right now. Wait, there's no way. You're making all this up, aren't you? It's not like I'm a millionaire or anything, but I have enough money to support myself just from this one job. And I don't have to drive into work anymore, so it was an easy decision to go through with the job switch. Oh, well, in that case, you can still send over the $1,700, right? Oh yeah, one more thing. Actually, I'm going to get married soon. <laughs> you are? Where did this come from? Well, that was the other reason I wanted to work from home, so I could get more time to prepare for all of that. My fiancé is someone I met at work, but he's actually not from here. We'll be going back to his home country to get married, and I'll probably end up moving with him in order to start a new life too, with the flexibility of my online job. 
You're getting married in a foreign country? Well, not like it's any of your business. Anyways, I'll be working all the way from across the ocean now, but I won't be able to send any money across to you. There's a lot of things we as a married couple will need to save up for after all, especially with moving countries and all. Though I guess you'd understand the importance of supporting family, right? So please, just go to Gabriel for your financial problems from now on. Ugh, so that's how it is, huh? Well, fine. Gabriel is making enough money to pay me the monthly payments. Anyways, he was stepping in for you all those years after all. $1,200 is nothing to a hard-working and disciplined worker like him. I suppose cutting ties with my spoiled and disrespectful daughter wouldn't be too bad of a deal if I get to spend time with my son, who respects me like any child should. Okay, well, best of luck to you and Gabriel going forward. I suppose I'll be enjoying my newlywed life overseas. You take care. Well, that sounds fine by me. I suppose I'll let you in on a little something while we're here. I'll be cutting my American number on this phone when I leave the country, so you won't be able to contact me, even if you want to in a few months' time. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I don't have any plans on contacting you anyway. I have my very well-behaved son, after all. Gabriel has always treated me with much more respect than you ever have. All right, well, all the best to you. All right, listen up, you worthless and pathetic excuse for a sister. What the hell do you mean you're not going to be sending over the payment for mom, huh? Not to mention you're cutting ties with her? And to top it off, you're going to live with some foreigner in another country? I don't care what you do with your life or where you'll end up being, but you better send over our monthly allowance. You hear me? $1,700. Actually, you know what? Let's increase it to $2,000 a month. Or better yet, $2,500. You've gone through and dragged us through the dirt this entire time. I think it's only fair you pay for your crimes. And why do you think I'd pay you two grand for doing nothing? Are you out of your mind? Oh, hey look, she finally responds when it's convenient for her. What's with you? Ignoring my messages to you, huh? Respect your family, for God's sake. Sorry about that. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't stand you. Uh, oh, that's very interesting though. You sound awfully desperate for someone that has a ton of money saved up from your online job. Where do you work again? I don't think I remember. You've been doing this job for 12 years, haven't you? I'm sure you have a lot saved up. Huh? Alright, I guess I did say something like that. Anyways, I've told mom that you'll be paying for all of the finances from now on. I mean, you have a better paying job than I do, right? I'm sure $2,000 a month is nothing to you. She seemed pretty happy that her favorite child was going to be supporting her from now on too. Aren't you lucky? And now, she doesn't want anything to do with me. So she's all yours, Buster. What? What do you think you're doing? You've always been mom's favorite. We both know that all too well. So isn't it most fitting for the favorite child to look after her? I mean, to me, it seems like she expected a lot from you. Wait, hold on a second. That means I have to earn enough to pay mom all of that money every month? What are you talking about? You've been working all this time, right? This wouldn't be any different to how you've been living up until now. You've been paying mom for these past 10 years too, haven't you? No, wait. You know that isn't the truth. Oh, sorry. I have to get back to preparations for my wedding. I'll catch you later. Hey, you can't leave without caring about me and mom. Hey, Adriana! Adriana, I'm sorry about everything I said. Can we go back to the original plan of you sending me that money? Apparently, Gabriel had been lying this whole time. He hadn't been working from home at all. In fact, he had been doing nothing all of these years. He lied to me just to please me. That's all it was. Please, you need to step in and take responsibility. I didn't realize he wasn't telling the truth. You're the only one I can rely on now. So please, send me the money as soon as you can. I've only got around $200 left in my bank account. I need your help. Oh, Mom. Great timing. Adriana, thank God you got back to me. I was just about to cancel this number, actually. You must be psychic or something. Wait, you're canceling it right now? Yeah, I'm leaving the country tomorrow. Tomorrow? Anyways, time is up, it seems. Wait, just a second, Adriana. Listen to your mother. See you later. Don't you hang up on me, Adriana. You owe me that money. How can you be so cruel and heartless? You're my daughter. Sorry, Mom. I don't owe you anything. And you're my mother, but you never acted like one. That's not true. I did everything for you. I raised you and fed you and clothed you. And then you demanded money from me for all of that? You never cared about me or my happiness. You only care about yourself and your money. Please, Adriana, 
Don't do this to me. Don't leave me alone with nothing. You did this to yourself, Mom. You pushed me away with your greed, and we're done. Goodbye, Mom. I learned about what happened from my aunt afterwards, but it seemed like my mom, who ran out of options, made a desperate attempt to stop me from leaving. She dragged Gabriel along with her and drove to the airport, hoping to persuade me to change my mind and stay with them. However, this plan completely backfired on them as they had barely enough money to make the trip. They only had around $200 in their bank account and the gas and parking fees ate up most of that. So they ended up begging my aunt for help and telling her their sob story. I had anticipated they might try something like this, so I had chosen the airport that was farther away from our neighborhood to avoid them. As for my aunt, she was also a target of their money requests, just like I was. Her answer was a firm no. She told them to get their act together and find a job instead of leeching off others. That was the last time she spoke to them. I heard from some sources that they both managed to find some part-time work as a last resort, but they are constantly getting scolded by their bosses and their home is filled with endless arguments between the two. As for me, I'm living my best life overseas in my new city with my loving fiance by my side.